everybody, welcome to Flames Pyro Art uh, Tutorials. The aim of these videos that I'm going to be producing is for newcomers to pyrography to learn some of the basic techniques of pyrography, how to compose a piece, how to transfer images, how to give depth perceptions to your work. So if people are looking to improve the skills and practice, then I'll hopefully have some videos up and running to guide you along the way and set you off on the right direction because pyrography has taken off quite rapidly during the coronavirus lockdown uh, a lot of people have seemed to have taken up the hobby of pyrography and some people you know would like to advance their skills and get better at this beautiful art form. The basics of pyrography really is first of all not to overheat your pen. What you have to do is think about it like say a pencil drawing if you were pen if you were drawing with a pencil and you wanted to do let's say a face you wouldn't go with your darkest shade immediately on the whole thing would you you'd have lighter shades in some areas darker shades in others to give yourself the perception of well to give the viewer the perception of depth and so basically that's what pyrography is in essence is it's not about getting your pen tip glowing red and burning the wood that isn't what pyrography is that is arson what pyrography is is skillfully and carefully and delicately building up the layers of heat until you achieve a look of either 3D dimension you know you can move things backwards and forwards through your artwork simply by darkening it an area and next to the dark area if it's lighter that dark area will be perceived to be pushed further backwards so we can bring our art forwards and backwards with the shading of how dark we go with a burning and so that's in essence that's what I'm hopefully going to try and teach uh, newcomers to the to the world of pyrography it's a brilliant art form it's an art form I would say where you need patience as well as a steady hand you know you're not going to create a beautiful piece of art within a couple of hours or within a day you know, sometimes a piece of work could take you literally weeks to do it if you want to go into real fine detail of, let's say, a human portrait. You know, you could spend anything up to two weeks or more building it up slowly through the layers, keeping your heat low and just going over and over the areas until you get the required depth perception that you're looking for 
and this piece I'm working on at the moment is just for a friend who has sadly lost uh, her father and we're just doing a little memorial piece for her with an angel with the wings and we've got some words and things we're going to be burning onto it. I don't like to say burning onto it because it makes it sound then like it's like say it's not an art form when you say oh I'm burning something onto it it's I suppose we call it pyroing these images and words onto this piece of art but what I will do is I shall post up some much easier tutorial videos to get people started like how to transfer images onto your wood that is an integral part of the process really isn't it I mean I am not a gifted pencil artist you know I cannot draw out these images myself uh, with a pencil just out of my mind so what a lot of people do including myself is we'll go to the likes of Shutterstock which has royalty free images if you subscribe with them you get X amount of downloads a month there's sites like Pixabay which has royalty free images there are others as well uh, Pinterest has obviously a lot of images on but they're not copyright free images as far as I'm aware I think like say if you were to try and sell a piece of somebody else's design that they put on Pinterest I think you would have to ask for the artist's permission first you know but if it's for personal use and just for hobbyist then by all means uh, take images off Pinterest you know there's no harm in that and I'll teach you how to transfer the images onto the wood properly from what I've learnt through my journey uh, with pyrography so far I've learnt a lot of the do's and don'ts and the pitfalls uh, associated with pyrography, you know, the things you definitely don't do that or you do things this way, you know. So hopefully I'll be able to pass some of that learning on to you. So look forward to doing some tutorial videos uh, really soon and we'll see if there is a need and a demand and a liking for uh, my pyrography teaching like I said we'll, we're going to start off with the real basics and we'll go from there okay I'll speak to you all soon this is Neil from Flames Pyro Art and I'll put the first lesson up in the coming days thanks guys bye <laughs>